All right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 26th of January. Tomorrow night we're gonna be taking down a whole lot of old Madeira going all the way back to 1795. Oh, even further, I think we've got someone bringing wine. It's even older than that. You can just feel the love when people bring stuff to our events. We have enough wine, it's not necessary. But um, you know, some people just feel obligated to share with others. That is the great thing about wine and the reason why we do so many of these once in a lifetime events here at the Wine Watch. You never know when your last day is gonna be. So always drink the good stuff first, folks. That is what we've got going on a week from tomorrow night here at the Wine Watch. At one of the grandest tastings we'll have all this 2012 series. One of the greatest Grand Cru's in all of Burgundy, Moussigny or Les Moussigny. This is uh, my recent detra, the reason why I get out of bed in the morning, folks, to taste wines like this. There is not enough time or money to really properly study the wines of Moussigny. And, you know, if this tasting was going on anywhere else in the world, Chicago, London, L.A., it would cost five times the price, four times the price at least, $2,000 a, a person to attend an event like this. We're just going to show eight Moussignys, and in addition to that, we are going to have a couple of Bon Mars, uh, one of the adjacent Grand Cru's in the village of Chambol Moussigny. Les Moussigny, although this uh, Grand Cru has only been designated as of 1936, the vineyard Les Moussigny has been known and recognized as a great vineyard for several hundred years in Burgundy. And actually the name comes from a now extinct family, the Moussigny, and uh, they were part of the, uh, the Dukes of Burgundy, very important family at that time in the 14th century. And uh, <clears throat> This vineyard site, like I said, you know, considered one of the great vineyard sites. The great, the thing about Burgundy and these, you know, elites Grand Cru sites is they don't make thirty thousand cases of wine. Not even thirty thousand cases of Moussigny. Most pe people that make Moussigny make a few hundred cases of it. That is it. Georges Comte de Vogue, Jacques Prior. Uh, we're going to have Freddie Mounier's wine on the table tonight. Louis Jadot, uh, Jacques. Uh, I already mentioned Jacques Pierre, Pierre Olive, all the way back to 1964, including legendary vintages like 78, 88, 90, 95, 99. Some killer juice on the table, of course. Tony will be making a few small courses to accompany the tasting wines, but hey, we are really here to study this great Grand Cru of Lemoussigny. Check it out. In addition to all the stuff that we're gonna be serving tonight, I thought I would include everything that we have in the store from the village, Shambu Moussigny, which is uh, you know the simple classification and maybe not the best uh, sites. In Burgundy, they have a classification system that has a village wine, Premier Cru, and Grand Cru. Grand Cru being the 1% of the top uh, rated vineyards. 11% makes it into Premier Cru, and the rest would be classified as village wine. Chimbal Moussini, one of my favorite village wines. All of them are beyond this offer, as well as the Premier Crus. And we're going to throw Bon Mars on for, the, for you Bon Mars lovers as well. All right, well, check it out today. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.